I'm Gabby Perez. I'm originally from New Orleans. I grew up in Miami. Um, I'm Cuban American and I'm going to medical school in August. So this for me is an opportunity to get some experience in the lab doing research so that when I graduate, I can become a clinician researcher. That's my ultimate goal because I believe research is so important in the medical field. It's actually where we come up with cures, come up with all sorts of ways to improve upon what we already have in medicine. So for me as a physician, I want to be a part of that as well. Basically, I'm learning all the tools I'm going to need to do research as a physician in the future. I'm going to osteopathic medical school, which is a little bit different than your traditional allopathic physician. Uh, the difference is that we incorporate what's called osteopathic musculoskeletal manipulation. So it's manipulative techniques in order to have the body um, use its innate ability to heal itself. It's a, more of a holistic approach. And I believe the future of medicine is really going in that direction. So for me, it's really important to study medicine in that way. That's what I want to do research with in the future. Although we have all sorts of claims of how holistic approaches are so beneficial, both economically and physiologically, there isn't much research going on, especially in epigenetics. And that's how anything in the environment would affect our genes, so down to the genetic level. I'm looking at uh, a virus called HPV, and what we want to do is find a different way to detect HPV in both males and females, so that's the experiment that I've been working on. And a lot of other things that we work on in the lab is epigenetics. So basically, we want to know exactly how something in the environment would affect our genes, so down to the DNA. So that's something that we look at a lot and that um, a lot of our researchers have projects on. What we've done with Raphael recently that's sequence-based, which is very exciting, um, we've been looking at transrenal DNA in an HPV population. This is sort of an extension of microbiome research because you're looking at viral content in a sample. And in this case, these are women with cervical cancer. And so, you know, there are invasive ways to get samples and there are non-invasive. And you're more likely to have compliance of patients and participation in studies if you can collect a sample from urine. And what has been done, we can extract DNA from urine and it's very usable. It's not in great condition, it's very low quality, but what we've done through tweaking some of our conditions is that we can amplify the amount of DNA that we have and we can use target probes to enrich. In this case, we want to really look at the HPV component of this transrenal DNA and we want to see what strain or type of HPV is present. Um, and what was surprising to us in the small number of samples we've surveyed so far it's a very sensitive method. We were able to start with very small amounts of DNA. We were able to target the HPV content, and we were able, from very small segments of DNA, through computational methods, we were able to assemble those pieces and realize that we have full genome content from multiple types of HPV. If you have a vaccine that targets certain types of HPV, but the reality is your patient population has more types or is exposed to more types of HPV, maybe the vaccine needs to be redeveloped or it's, the scope of its target needs to be a little bit broader. One of the follow-up studies that we would like to do, and you know, not just from urine, but probably from other swab sites potentially as well, but absolutely, I mean, men are carriers of HPV. There are certain types of cancer that um, having HPV or not having HPV can actually determine how severe your disease is and how responsive you are to certain types of treatment. When we're finished with our work, um, mainly what we do is put our results together. We can make a research poster and after we've come up with enough uh, data, what we do is write papers or articles and we can submit them to journals like this one. 